Jim Duffy from Network World um, is writing in. Hi, Jim. I hope the weather is beautiful in Buffalo. This is a great time of year to be there. I'm a UB graduate, so that's why I know that. Um, Jim's curious that, have you, have you looked at telepresence? Do you see a role for telepresence and new advanced business video technologies you know, playing a role um, in, in the future delivery? We know, we, I know we talked for a minute or two before we started about that. Um, for us, probably not so much. And the reason for that is, is that we're 29 buildings in five or six city blocks. So people can get to each other very well. We do, there is some stuff that I, I can say that we see, and I don't know if it will be telepresence or some other video conferencing mm -hmm. system, is that we do do a lot of world-class seminars, and we have a lot of world-class talent. So there is a lot more of that going on. We have several cardiologists that are, are amazing that do do that stuff. But um, Could it be for bringing expertise, not necessarily among the, you know, the buildings locally, but from people who are affiliated with Mount Sinai in for sure, anything from a guest lecture to a guest consult. So perhaps there would be two screens and one screen would be, let's say, you know, radiology would be imaging and on the other screen would actually be, let's say, an expert in a certain type of bone disorder or, you know, or, or whatever. I think you'll start to see that, you know, yeah. as time goes on because it's, you know, it, it's very hard. You know, it was very interesting when we were um, doing some work with radiology that you'll find out that, you know, radiologists that do mammograms uh, are a very specially, specialized group. And if you talk to another radiologist and he looks at a mammogram, he has no clue what he's looking at. <laughs> and he also has no idea about the resolution level that's required. Right. So, yeah, I think... But do you, you think with 1080p, do you think... Like, no, we're getting no, no, not actually, yet? Don't even, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. It <laughs> doesn't even help. But, um, um, I mean... No, that's fair, yeah. But, no, I think you will see more and more of that interaction because especially, you know, in the Manhattan market, there may be, hopefully... I mean, one of the things New York City is concerned about, unfortunately, after 9-11, is burn centers. Mm. So they're really trying to get the hospitals geared up now in case of a catastrophe, God forbid, that mm -hmm. you can really tap all the talent quickly and say, you know, and, and the real talent we're talking about is triage. Right. You know, how bad is this person burned? What can you do with them? What can't you do? Right. So they have programs like that. So, yes, you, you will start to see more.